Healthy Lifestyle Crib Presents 10 People Who Won't Get Rich, Do You Fit The Profile? You probably had a good sense in high school of which students had the best shot at becoming wealthy and successful based on their academics, extracurricular activities, and general behavior. Although these 10 people's traits help them become wealthy, they are not the same for everyone. Number 1. The Talker. There's an old adage that goes something like, you talk the talk but you don't walk the walk, and there's good reason for that. The talker is very articulate when it comes to discussing ways to cut costs and may even come up with a strategy that would be effective for the vast majority of people, but their proposal is stuck in the planning stages. They don't actually do anything to save money, instead, they speak about how they could do it theoretically, but never actually do it, and eventually go on to another topic. The talker can break their habit and adopt a frugal lifestyle by recording their thoughts on paper and then acting on them. Number 2. The Lazy. Laziness is a personality trait that guarantees financial insecurity. For example, a lazy individual might binge watch Netflix all night instead of reading a book or learning a new skill. They won't bother with budgeting because it's a hassle. To put it bluntly, it takes a lot of hard work and organization, which few wealthy people have, for someone to become wealthy. They'll have to take it day by day to master frugal living. Number 3. The Spender. It's no secret that giving in to impulsive buys is a fast way to drain your bank account, but you may be wondering what to do about it. If you're prone to making hasty purchases, it may be because you're an impulsive spender. If this sounds like you, it may help to learn to channel your stress in other, more productive ways, such as through regular exercise if you're trying to live a frugal lifestyle and cut costs, this adjustment can assist. Number 4. The Overthinker. It's human nature to ponder and perhaps overthink things. This is especially true when it comes to financial matters, yet there is a vast difference between being an overthinker and having a character flaw that guarantees you'll always be financially strapped. To use an overthinker as an example, considers buying a house or investing some money in the stock market but then changes their mind because of the fear of loss. Making a list of the positives and drawbacks can help an overthinker break old habits and adopt new frugal routines. Number 5. The Know-It-All. It's unusual to meet someone who is both fun to be with and incredibly well-versed in every subject imaginable, and yet with whom you can hold a meaningful conversation. Unfortunately for these know-it-alls, their intransigence in the face of alternative perspectives and information on how to save money can be a major roadblock on the path to financial independence. This is because, given their arrogance, they may ignore a lot of useful suggestions made by other people. A know-it-all will never become wealthy until they learn to look outside of themselves and acknowledge that other people have superior strategies for cutting costs and building wealth. Number 6. The Lone Wolf. The Lone Wolf is a person who prefers to act independently. Despite its usefulness in differentiating the wealthy from the poor, this transaction frequently makes it more difficult for the latter to improve their financial situation. A Lone Wolf's flaw is that they insist on trying to go it alone despite their awareness of their own limitations. This can lead to issues that are difficult to fix and even dangerous to their health. Don't be too proud to ask for assistance when you're in a pinch if you're a lone wolf trying to cut costs. Number 7. The Victim. The victim is someone who will never take responsibility for their monetary situation. People who are unable to get out of debt often place the blame on others, such as the high cost of borrowing money due to interest rates, or on their parents, who they believe failed to adequately educate them the importance of cutting back on unnecessary expenditures. The list could go on and on, but they'll never admit that they're to blame for their own wasteful spending. The only way for the victim to break free of their poor character is if they are willing to take full responsibility for their financial situation. Number 8. The Unambitious. Those who didn't strive for much appear to have settled lifestyles and sufficient financial resources, but they're not wealthy. This is due to the fact that a lack of ambition is a trait that keeps you mired in poverty, as such individuals do no more than is strictly necessary to get the task done. A person who lacks ambition is less likely to want to better himself, and so is less likely to accept opportunities that could help them do so, such as a promotion. Nevertheless, if you want to learn how to save money and become wealthy, you need to find a compelling cause that motivates you to work more. Number 9. The Carefree. Having a carefree attitude is frequently seen as a desirable quality since it suggests that the individual is content with their life no matter the circumstances. However, this kind of thinking will keep you stuck in a cycle of poverty. Carefree people, for instance, tend to ignore the future in favor of the now, thus they are unprepared for problems that could affect them. A carefree person may fall into a deep financial hole and believe that being wealthy is impossible if they don't take precautions. Thankfully, a Spartan lifestyle isn't too difficult to adopt for the carefree. 
they should to accept the fact that, no matter how calmly and optimistically they approach life, there are some things that will happen to them no matter how they choose to approach each day. Therefore, being well prepared can make those times more memorable and less stressful. Number 10. The Quitter. It's true that there are occasions when giving something up is the best option in terms of reaching financial independence, that that's not always the case for the person giving up. The quitter is the type of person who frequently changes occupations or gives up on otherwise worthwhile endeavors. A lack of a stable paycheck makes it difficult to accumulate wealth, which is why quitting isn't typically connected with economical living. Recognizing that life isn't going to be a bed of roses and that there will be difficult times can pave the road to financial success for the quitter. Give us a thumbs up and share it with your friends if you appreciated this video. If you enjoyed this, make sure to subscribe and turn on the notification bell to receive new videos as soon as they are posted. Also, don't forget to watch our other videos. Many thanks for taking the time to check it out.